So this question is a diagram question. We can see here that we have a hemisphere or half of a sphere and we have a cone here. Looks like we've been given the diameter of the hemisphere. Also, it would be the opening of the cone, same thing. And it looks like we've been given the height of the combination of those two shapes. So I always like to take a look at the visual input provided first, just to kind of wrap my mind around it. Now let's read the question. So the question says, a hemisphere and a cone have circular bases of equal circumference. Okay, so the circumference is equal. I want to just underline that. And have been connected and have been connected at their bases. We see that as shown in the figure. The diameter of the base of the hemisphere is six centimeters. We see that. And the total height of the figure is nine centimeters. We also already saw that. What is the total volume in cubic centimeters of the cone and hemisphere? So I am going to find the volume of the hemisphere first. Now on the first page of the math section, you have a resource sheet there with some formulas. You will find that the volume of a sphere, so V sphere from that page, so you don't have to memorize this, is equal to four thirds pi r cubed. Now, because a hemisphere is half of a sphere, I can just multiply this whole thing by one half. And what I would get is, oh, in fact, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's cross cancel that two with that four, make it into two. So the volume of a hemisphere is gonna be two thirds pi r cubed. So what's the radius of the hemisphere? Well, I know the diameter is six which means the radius, let me just put this dotted line here so I can make it more visually appealing to me. So the radius from the center to the edge would be half of that six, so it'd be three centimeters. So I'm gonna replace my R, let's get rid of this formula since we don't need it. I'm gonna replace my radius with three here. So I'd have two thirds pi three to the third power. 3 to the third power, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. So I have 2 thirds pi 27. I'm going to just put 27 over 1. And I'm going to cross cancel here. 3 goes into itself once. 3 goes into 27 9 times. So what I'm left with is 2 over 1 pi times 9 over 1, which is 18 pi. So there is V hemisphere, which I'll just call VH for right now. So the volume of a cone is also provided on that resource sheet, that formula sheet, the first page of the test. And the formula for that is one third pi r squared h. So for the cone, the radius of the cone is also three, right? Because you know, this is part of the sphere and the cone. So I'm gonna replace that r with a three. So one third pi three squared. And the height, now the height is where we get a little tricky. The height that's been provided is for the entire shape. It's not for the height of the cone only. So I need to be able to subtract this portion, which really would just be another radius, right, of an entire sphere. So that's gonna be three, which means the height of the cone, this part down here, is going to be six. Hopefully that makes sense. So my H is now replaced by six. So let's do the math here. So three squared is nine. I'd have one third pi times nine times six. I'm gonna just reduce this now. Three goes into three once, three goes into nine three times. So I have now, this is gone because one is not required. Three times six is 18. So it's 18 pi. So I have two of these, right? So V cone is 18 pi. So all together, 18 pi, or all together, the volume of the hemisphere plus the volume of the cone would be 18 pi plus 18 pi, which is equal to 36 pi, which is answer choice B.